And that shooting comes as IMPD homicide detectives are investigating two killings in the city this weekend. One appears to be justified, the other targeted. Fox 59's Russ McQuaid brings us up to date and breaks down Indianapolis's homicide picture this year. At 102 homicides in 2023, the city's violent death tally is keeping steady pace with last year's numbers year to date. That's despite the tens of millions of dollars that have been spent on anti-violence community programs and IMPD technology and manpower upgrades. The killings show how difficult it is to bring down Indianapolis's 2023 homicide totals. It was on Lower Drive this morning on the city's northwest side that homicide detectives arrived to find a red SUV crashed over a mailbox and into a parked pickup truck. Inside was a young man shot to death. Whether or not the vehicle was in motion or not, is, we're not sure, uh, but can't say if it wasn't something where the person was just driving by and just randomly got shot. The victim was not from the neighborhood. This does pretty clearly appear to be uh, a targeted incident. Uh, why we believe it's targeted incident, uh, we're not prepared to release for investigative reasons. There were two shootings this weekend, one of them deadly, where police know who had the gun, but no one's been arrested. A woman wounded a man she said was trying to enter her home on Arcadia Street, and police are trying to determine if a resident was justified in fatally wounding a stranger at his home on Meganwood Court Saturday night. Those individuals feeling like they had to defend themselves uh, puts them in a difficult situation. They shouldn't be there. Uh, those individuals who are victims of gun violence uh, shouldn't be victims. Those people who were accidentally shot shouldn't be shot. Two juveniles were shot this weekend, one 17-year-old fatally in Lawrence, and a 15-year-old was shot on Brook Point Drive. And the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reports gunshot wounds are the number one killer of young Americans between the ages of 1 and 19. But I think it would be important uh, in my position as a counselor to hear from the public health department, from Dr. Kane and others, that to hear um, how that would impact them to see uh, what they're hearing and seeing every day. So I would like to hear a little bit more from the experts. Five years ago, the City County Council declared a gun violence and violent crime public health emergency in Indianapolis. So far, the Marion County Health Department and its director, Dr. Virginia Kane, have not. We've requested an interview with Dr. Kane to talk about this issue. In the newsroom, Russ McQuaid, Fox 59 News.